Hello everyone. Uh, we're back at Truck in a Box. Uh, this evening we're going to try and get this hood off here. And if there's enough daylight, get the radiator out as well. So I'll set you guys over here and try and get some footage of removing it. So let's get started. It's the next day. Uh, as you can see, I got the hood off. That was uh, kind of a big operation. Uh, I didn't get any footage of that, unfortunately. It was, it was kind of a pain. So I got it on this stand I made here. So I can move it in and out, keep it out of the way, but yeah, keep it close to the truck so it doesn't take up too much room here at the Morrison. So I just took the bolts off here. There's one on each side and came out of the hinge, jacked it up using a, a lift table and got it up and off there. So the plan for this evening is trying to get this radiator out of there and see if uh, see if I can get that out of there because the whole goal here is to get room and get access to the front of the engine so I can get that cover off yeah so all right I'm gonna get ready get this stuff out of here and I'll bring you back is yes, I'm gonna try and get this off here just to try and make it a little more manageable it looks like there's only four bolts holding it on over here one on each corner so get that out of there I'm gonna see where these lines go make sure they're disconnected and uh, go from there all right let's get started condensers off that was pretty easy just the four bolts. I did have to take it loose up on the bulkhead there, right next to the dryer. I think that's called the dryer. I had to take it loose from there because the connector was already broke. So it looks like somebody else tried to take it off as well. So this is pretty much trash now. I don't know if you fix those or not. So I think that's pretty much trash. But both those lines are connected. So I had to take the one line off the bulkhead. But I mean this thing doesn't look like it's in bad shape at all. But now it's obviously ruined. So alright, so next thing I'm gonna take off is the intercooler here. Try and get that off of there. That doesn't look so bad either. Looks like there's a bolt here, bolt down here. Yeah, two bolts there. Okay, so let me try and get that out of there. All this is just really a way to minimize some of the weight of that radiator because I'm gonna have to yank that out of there. So I'm just trying to minimize how much I gotta wrestle with when I'm trying to get that out of there. So, all right, I'll bring you back. All right, got the charge air cooler out. It's over here. So I don't know. I don't know if it's any good or not. It's definitely rough. However, the radiator's in great shape. <laughs> That's pretty cool, huh? So I guess now I'll start on the radiator. I know there's two bolts there. I think that's all that holds it on. But I gotta make sure there's nothing else connected to it. Anywhere. Doesn't look like it. There's a ground over there, which I know about. So there's a ground connected there I gotta take off. This hose looks like it goes with it. This guy's, this guy here is disconnected. The holder is disconnected. So, looks like I can probably just take it out of there. But we'll see. All right, I'll bring you back. Once again, it's the next day. Uh, 
uh, last night didn't get the radiator out, uh, so I'm going to get that done today. Uh, Mr. Morrison's going to help me. He's going to bring his uh, Bobcat or one of his tow trucks over and uh, lift it out of there for me. So right now i got to take the uh, bottom hose off, and I think I have everything else detached. I just have to take the two bolts that are underneath the radiator that mount to the frame. So let's go ahead and get started and get this done today. Well, here we go. Radar is out. So, yep. It's all good. But this is interesting. I don't know what that is. That looks broke. This looks like. I don't know what that is. That might be part of that sound deadening thing. Man, look at that. Ooh. I don't know if that's the front cover leaking or if that was the power steering or what that is. So, good news. Making some really good progress here. So now I'm trying to get that front cover off there. Take the damper off. Take the pulley off cover off so we can get these bolts out of here let's see that's the one I tried to easy out out that wasn't happening and there's the one up there obviously and then that guy and that guy so there's only three so get those taken care of uh, the other thing was got a piston out or up got to finish pulling that out of there do something different with that. A couple of blocks starting to get wet and rusty. So I have to fix that. Alright, so I think that's it for this video. I uh, hope everybody enjoyed. If you wouldn't mind, uh, give me a like and maybe subscribe. Leave a couple comments for me. Tell me how <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing or whatnot. So alrighty. Well, I appreciate you watching. Hope everybody's well. And we'll see you on the next one. Thanks a lot.